low quality, keyword stuffed, unreadable. No, this is not what SEO content should look like. Hi, I'm Katerina, co-founder of Kayaks and the author of the book From Reads to Leads, 11 Principles of Writing Content People Will Read and Respond to. Welcome to my channel about content writing and marketing. How do you write SEO content? Well, first thing first, don't write SEO content. SEO content has a bad reputation. It has long been associated with some bad, deceptive and unethical methods so-called SEO experts used trying to manipulate search engine spiders. Google today is way too smart to reward black hat SEO tactics. When I say SEO content, I mean content for people. Compelling, valuable, easy to read and understand, and content that has it all to rank well on search engines. Here are my 8 tips on how to optimize your content for search. Tip 1. Define a focus keyword. Focus keyword is the main phrase that your readers will type in Google to find your content. Check out how many searches this phrase gets per month to decide if it's a good one to rank for. For example, if you are writing an article that compares project management tools, your focus keyword can be Asana versus Trello. Or if you want to help business owners start selling their products online, your focus keyword can sound like how to sell products online. Tip 2. Understand your reader's search intent. Every search term has a why behind it. I did the reader Google what is blockchain or how to make a YouTube channel. In the first case, they probably want to learn more about the distributed ledger, while in the second case, they most likely want to build their own YouTube channel. Search intent is what your reader wants to accomplish when they type something into the search engine. Google can detect reader search intent based on the keywords used and rank pages based on how well they address reader search intent. To align your content with your reader search intent, you need to analyze the search results for the focus keyword you want to rank for. Go on Google and type in the focus keyword you want to rank for. By looking at the first page of Google, you can decide what type of content you need to create, a blog post, a landing page, a video, what form your content should take, list, comparison, how to guide, and what angle you should choose for your story. For example, if you try to Google Asana vs Trello, we'll find lots of articles and even videos that explain the difference between those two tools, helping the reader choose the right one. Most search results for how to sell products online focus on either the websites where to sell online or give step-by-step -step guides. I talk about the reader's search intent in the first chapter of my book From Reads to Leads, 11 Principles of Writing Content People Will Read and Respond To. Make sure you check it out right here. Tip 3. Use search-optimized content structure. Your content structure needs to be organized in a logical hierarchy with subheadings wrapped in H2 tags. If there is a clear section within your H2 tags, use H3 tags and so forth in a logical order. Try to use keywords related to a main topic in your subheadings if that makes sense. Don't overuse one and the same keyword throughout your text. Tip 4. Write a search-optimized meta-title. Meta-title is your content's title, displayed in search engine result snippets. When writing your title, keep in mind that you need to place your focus keyword at the start of your title tag and keep it under 70 characters. For example, if your focus keyword is how to sell products online, your meta title should start with exactly that, how to sell products online. After this, you can add some more copy to make your title sound more compelling. For example, how to sell products online and where online exactly? 
How to sell products online from home with no inventory. How to sell products online, a kickstart guide for beginners, and so on. The thing that is important is that your title needs to reflect what your story is going to be about. Tip 5. Write a search-optimized meta description. Meta description is what appears on search under your title tag. Well-written meta description can be the difference between getting the click and not. Be informative. Use a call to action, include a focus keyword or its synonym, and make sure your meta description is no less than 160 characters. Tip 6. Write a search-optimized H1 tag. H1 tag is the main heading on your page. Like you did when you wrote the meta title, make sure you place the focus keyword or its synonym at the start of your H1 tag. For example, if your focus keyword is Asana versus Trella, your H1 tag may sound like this. Asana versus Trella. Which one is better for project management? Tip 7. Use the focus keyword in the first paragraph. But do so naturally. Ideally, you want your focus keyword to appear within the first 100 words. Tip 8. Include internal links. Always link to other pages on your website that are relevant to your content. When linking, use anchor text. For example, if you want to link to an article with a focus keyword, books for writers, use this phrase, books for writers, as your anchor text. There you have it, 8 tips to write SEO content. 1. Define a focus keyword. 2. Understand your reader's intent. 3. Create a search-optimized content structure. 4. Write a search-optimized meta title. 5. Write a search-optimized meta description. 6. Write a search-optimized H1 tag. 7. Use a focus keyword in the first paragraph. 8. Include internal links. Always strive to write and publish amazing content that addresses your readers' needs and solve their problems. This won't only help you get the desired rankings, but will also help you hit your marketing targets. If you want to see more videos about content writing and marketing, subscribe to this channel. I will see you next week with a new video. Thank you for watching. Я Катерина. Пока-пока.